Hello, my name is Ilona, and in this video I would like to get a little bit more philosophical. I'd like to talk more about awareness, people waking up. And um, in my last video, at least the philosophical one, I talked about the restrictions and that certain areas had more restrictions because people needed to wake up there. What I meant was, I'd just like to clarify that the general population needed more waking up. That doesn't mean that there's not people in there very awake. There are people awake everywhere around the world, every, in every area. There are people that understand what is going on. So I'd like to clarify that, that I don't believe that in Germany there are no awake, you know, people awake. Of course, there are communities, there are people awake, people understanding what's going on also in Australia. But it's about the general population. Are they awake? Because even in the Netherlands, there are a lot of people awake, but there are still a lot of people asleep. We're trying, of course, to raise our vibration and hoping to wake up people that way as well. But ultimately, it's the choice of the person to wake up or not. Even if you uh, start raising the vibrations, some people will decide that they won't be able to, uh, on an unconscious level, their soul probably will decide, well, it's not the time yet. Or whatever reason they have, if they won't be able to handle the vibrations getting higher and higher, they will leave this plane or go to another plane or dimension. That's the way it is. Because... Um, like we're moving to another dimension, we're moving to a higher consciousness. So we, everything will change in a way. And some people will come along and some people won't. It will be a personal choice, or at least a choice from your soul. Or if you connect with your soul or not, that is a choice that you make. If you're ready to become aware or not. And you can't really judge on that because everybody makes their own choices. It can be very unconscious. It could be consciously. It's about if a conscience at that time can handle it or not. A lot of people are not capable of handling higher vibrations. So they need a slow process so they can adjust to it. It's like I am adjusting to the higher vibrations. I know this, especially with the energy, that things are coming up. Things I thought I dealt with, I thought I healed, are now just going deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm like, oh, I thought I already been through this, but apparently I still have to heal on a very deep level and not everyone will be able to handle that. And maybe there are levels I won't be able to handle. I don't know. I just walk this path and I'll see when I get there how things will work out. I really try to feel as much as possible. That's really um, how I get through things now. I've done a lot of understanding in the past, a lot of analyzing. So a lot of things I've figured out rationally mentally i figured out where everything's coming from what what's this where this is coming from and now i really need to feel i need to make everything all these old wounds part of myself again part of my energy again so it has to do with awareness i also saw um someone mentioned uh, in uh, my last video that uh, why aren't people that smart? Why are they too stupid to wake up? Well, that's that's not really the issue. It's not an issue about intellect. It has to do with if someone is connected to their intuition, to their soul. I know people with university degrees, very smart people, intellectually very strong people, got their mindset, but they have no connections to their heart. They have no connections to their feelings. So in a way, they just follow the government, they just follow the rules. They don't see anything wrong. And I know people who have no education whatsoever, at least not a higher education, and they fully understand what's going on. Really, it hasn't, it's nothing to do with education or your intellect. It has to do whether you have a connection with your heart and with your intuition, because then you will sense things are wrong and then you will start researching. So that's important to understand. So the awareness, and this is what I find interesting, because I really thought about, uh, someone sent me uh, a mail about Australia, that she had a connection with someone there who was very awake, and they were like, and she was kind of wondering, and I thought that was a very interesting question, is it maybe the case that they have so much restrictions because they are so awake there in Australia? Because she, of course, knows these people are very awake. 
And I felt about that and I was like, no, that's that's not the case. I don't think so. If the vibration in Australia is very high, the restrictions wouldn't go anywhere. It has to do with your vibration. That's why it's so important to raise your vibration. Because if you raise your vibration, that will have an effect on the world around you. It's a reflection. So I thought about that. So I mentioned that and um, that it has to do with people can be very awake there, but it's about the population just in general. And not every area in Australia is affected. It's not every area is that restricted. There are restricted areas, but those are other areas are more free. Uh, at least people were sending me mails from other areas. So it's really about a certain area where there are a lot of people asleep. But I thought about that and I felt about that, that there was maybe more to it. So I'd like to uh, explain how I view it after feeling more into it, because that's what I do. I'm highly sensitive, so I really feel my way through information and feel how I feel about things to make it complicated. <laughs> so um, in case of Australia, I was very interesting. Or well, what, what is that about? And I really, it reminded me of something in myself. If I start working on things, if I start uh, healing certain things, first, it usually gets worse. So as an, um, maybe as an example, um, I used to be a pleaser. So most of my uh, friendships, I was just pleasing. I was always walking behind everyone like, oh, I'll take care of that. I'll do this. And I, you know, what I felt or what, what's important to me was just the last on my list. So I started changing that. I was like, you know, I need to put myself first, not in a selfish way, but we need to take care of myself because I wasn't taking care of myself and all my energy I put in other people and not in myself. So it's important to take good care of yourself. So I start changing that. But of course, you need to heal things first so your energy is still healing it's not at that place right away that you're taking good care of yourself it's a process you experience things and you so not like testing but really things are changing but the people that i of course the friendships i had at that time they unconsciously started to notice that so they started claiming more so when I started changing and more, you know, uh, putting down boundaries, they started pulling more because they unconsciously felt that they were losing their grip on me. Because it is, you know, you, you attract people. I was a pleaser, so I was attracting people who would enjoy that energy. You were like, great, I don't have to do that and I can have her do things for me. So if you start changing that, they feel that on an unconscious level that you're pulling away. So they started, how do you say, to work me more. They started calling me more. They started like, oh, can you do this? They started to try to, blame, how do you say, to guilt trick me more. They started to work on the guilt. They started they're trying to pull me back into that uh, balance that we had. So it really took my strength and my healing. And really, you know, I need to put this boundary down. So it, took, it, it's, it was tough. But eventually I get to the place that I'm now taking care of myself. And of course, those people kind of uh, left my life because I wasn't attracting them anymore. So in case of Australia or other parts of the world, I believe that it's actually now a sign that the Australians are waking up. And that's why these restrictions are getting tougher, not because they're already awake and they need to be repressed, but because they are waking up and the uh, black hat influence there is feeling that their power is slipping. So they start enforcing more. So I think it's actually a good sign. I know this sounds awful, but it means more and more, and more people in Australia are waking up. So the energy is changing and they're feeling that, you know, the elite are feeling that they're feeling they're losing ground. That's why I believe now that they are really imposing these tough restrictions. So, I just wanted to mention that I believe uh, this is maybe Australia. I'm not sure if it's in other countries as well, because there are a lot of countries who are used to just following the rules. You know, they have uh, people who are fully in control of everything. And in that case, of course, the spirit of most people are very down and really are very compliant. That's something else. But I was just looking at Australia and what she mentioned, the, the person that 
I don't know, maybe was reacting to my video and I was just feeling like they are waking up. That's why things are changing because the energy is changing. It will take some time. It's actually what's happening all around the world. We are all waking up. That's why the restrictions are getting stronger because they feel their, their power is really fading away. It's like they're losing it. They're losing the grip on our energy. And that's why they're pulling out all the stops. So you can even look at it bigger than that. I'd like to just show some cards on that, if that's the case or not. But that's how it feels to me right now, that they really are losing their grip. The elite, the black hats are losing their grip and they really try to uh, get people back to the vibration we were before, but they're losing, they're losing the flow. They already lost the light one, but they still want to continue their fight. This is the Ten of Pentacles, that's the card above. This is the central card, that's the white hat card. King of Wands, this is in the past, Five of Pentacles. Card underneath is the Ten of Wands. And this is for the future. This is the Wheel of Fortune. So to me, this this is like, a, to me, a confirmation that that's actually what's going on. That that's why people, if you see the restrictions, see what's going on in the world, see it in a way, it may sound very strange as a good thing, because this means that they are losing their power. Like the white hats are in control. The light has won. This is really about... Um, in a way waking up but we are waking up so there are more things going on the white hats are trying to wake up we are waking up and the black hats are responding by trying to restrict us trying to put us back into the place that we came from but it's, it's not going to work it's, it's already failed so this is in a way just um I don't want to say movie because there are a lot of people in awful situations. So I'm not going to mention that because really my heart goes out to everyone who is in awful positions, restrictions. And that's, but this is a sign that we've pretty much already won. They're losing. That's why they're putting, pulling out all the stops. That's what they're doing. But we're really this this influence is to stabilize we're going to a new future a new world a completely new place it's really uh, to to be honest i hope it's tomorrow but again like i said you can't put a time to this because this is spiritually this is way bigger than just this world this is about spiritual war this is about the war of our souls the future is, is things are going to move, and I believe in a very positive way. The Wheel of Fortune usually means a positive turn of events. So things are going to change for the good. Like I said, the influence is to connect us to go to the new world, to the new dimension, to a higher frequency. That's where we're going, and we will go there. So I'd just like to end this video there. I hope to see you in another video. Bye.